So this question is a diagram question. We're provided with the circle. We have, looks like a radius. We have a point. Anytime I have a point on a graph, I like to make sure I see what's going on. So I'm gonna just drop a vertical line and just say, okay, from the origin to that line is square root three, because that's what that point A is telling me. And to the Y axis right there, that is one. So there we go, got some dimensions of that. Looks like a right triangle. So let's look at the question. Let's actually read the question. So the question says, in the xy plane above, O is the center of the circle, and the measure of angle AOB is pi over A radians. So I don't have a lot of space to draw that in, so I'm going to just come back over here. And I know that on this test, we're going to, there's only certain geometrical figures that we will have, to, that we'll come across, right? So it looks like all the information provided is actually for this right triangle that I have here. So square root three, and this is pi over a. That's how it looks to me. So I could do some more work here. I could say, well, hey, I have two sides of the right triangle. Why don't I figure out the hypotenuse? I could do that. Um, I definitely could do that. So let's do that. One squared plus square root three squared is one plus three, which is equal to, so I'm going to say equals C squared. Again, this is a Pythagorean coming from A squared plus B squared equals C squared. So one plus three equals C squared, four equals C squared, and therefore C is equal to two. So this is two. And here's where things get a little bit more fun and why this is a question 19 type of more difficult question. So we do all that and none of that still directly tells me what A is equal to, right? That's what I'm trying to find. But again, when I think to myself, what types of right triangles does the SAT test me on? Well, there are 30, 60, 90, 45, 45, 90, isosceles right triangles. And then there's, you know, you may have things that are not any of those, but you just need to know how to use a squared plus b squared equals c squared, or you may need to use SOHCAHTOA. This is really it, right? So if a triangle, if a question is based upon a right triangle, oh, maybe, I'm sorry, maybe also if you're finding the area, it's base times or one half base times height. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it for this test, at least. So when I see this triangle and I think about it in that way, hopefully you remember that the 30, 60, 90 right triangle looks just like that, right? So 30, 60, 90, where this is one, this is root three, and this is two. So that means this, this triangle that we were provided with is actually a 30, 60, 90 right triangle. Now that's very important because we want, we want the angle, we want this angle here, that's opposite of the one, right? So what's opposite of one? Well, that's, for me, that's 30 degrees. Okay, so we found our answer, 30 degrees. But the question wants us to figure out A, and A is the denominator, right, of pi over A, which is in radians, so we're not in degrees. So I need to convert 30 degrees into radians. So the way you do that is you multiply your degree measurement, so 30 degrees, by a conversion factor, which is going to always be pi over 180, right? If we're converting from degrees to radians, we multiply degrees by pi over 180. This simplifies to pi over 6, and therefore, right, so if this is pi over 6, therefore A is equal to 6, and that's your final answer.